Hi, it's Matt here from createyourgoodlife.com. What we're going to do today is just talk about some general pruning techniques that you use in, within the garden. Now, each individual species tends to have its own particularly unique way of doing pruning. Um, having said that though, there's some just general rules that you want to make sure you try and adhere to uh, when you are doing pruning within the garden. The first of which is you always want to make sure that you sterilise your secateurs, okay, or whatever you're using to cut. So in this case I've got a mixture of 70% uh, uh, methylated spirits and 30% water, okay, and I just dip the secateurs in there, just give them the flick off like that, and that just ensures that I'm not passing any disease across to this plant, because obviously you're doing a cut whenever you're doing some pruning and you want to make sure that you're not introducing any disease into that prune uh, because obviously that will uh, potentially damage the plant. Okay. The next thing you want to be doing is you want to look at what type of secateurs you're using. I generally prefer these style which is what's called a bypass secateur. Okay. And you'd see it has what they call an anvil which is sort of a square bit. Okay. And then you've got the blade. Okay. Now the blade's obviously the bit that does the cut and the anvil is what holds the uh, bit that you're cutting in place while you're actually doing the pruning like so. Okay, So when you're doing your cut you need to make sure that the anvil part ends up on the bit that's going to waste. Okay, If you use the anvil on the bit of the tree it's going to push into the stem and it's going to damage the stem as you do the pruning. Okay, So you need to make sure that you're, uh, you're putting it on the waste side of the cut. Okay, Now what you usually also want to do is you want to try and prune to an outward facing bud. Okay? Uh, usually you try and produce an open goblet type shape um, and by pruning to an outward bud that will help you do that. So you then need to also look at uh, where exactly the bud is. You want to be pruning such that you end up sort of a couple of millimetres above that bud, round about there. You can see the, it's a little bit hard to see there but that's the bud there. Um, and as I say you want to end up above that. Okay, and you cut such that you're on an angle. You don't tend to cut it straight across like so. Um, cutting at an angle means that it's less likely to get water settling on it, etc., um, and therefore less likely to get disease being introduced. Okay, you don't want to cut too far up because if you cut too far up, you're likely to get dye back in the stem and that can kill off the bud. Um, and obviously, you don't want to cut too close to the bud because that's going to obviously damage the bud itself and therefore it won't, won't shoot. So, so you just come in sort of above the, the bud like so and just do a snip like that. Okay, and then you end up with a nice clean cut and that should next year produce some nice good growth coming out the side there. So that's a pretty easy summary of how to do your uh, pruning and uh, hope you